Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Sample Paper Discussions. We are stepping into the next chapter which is Agile Testing Principles, Practices and Processes and we shall look forward to see some more questions from the set B of this chapter 2 and try to understand what could be the possible ways you can be asked with a question from this particular chapter. In order to get started, the next question we have in the series is question number 13 and it says a very straightforward thing that what is the proper order of planning? Now, of course, we have covered that there are few uh, standard planning events which happens in Agile and there are just two of them. Number one is release planning and then you have iteration planning. Release planning is of course for a bigger time period and duration which covers multiple iterations within that and release uh, certainly one way is collection of sprints. So when it comes to the preparation and planning of course we start with a bigger duration that is released first and then we talk about each of these iterations being planned separately at the ground level. And it's not just one time activity for the sprint. It happens for every single sprint as it looks forward to get started. So in that context, all they're trying to ask you is what is the right order of planning as per the given option. So we have four options here. Option A says release, then iteration. B, iteration, then release. C, both occur at the same time. And D, in most agile projects, only one type of planning is done, either release or iterations. I think uh, that's a very straightforward question, but sometime given that you may have a little understanding about this, or probably you have tried skipping this topic when you were preparing for the certification, you may get tricked around. If in case you already have the understanding, you may think that, oh, that's a very straightforward question. But let me tell you, if you even have a slight confusion related to this topic, you may get easily carried away by this question because you may not be just kind of like thinking of, is, is it like release and iteration planning happens together? But you know that now they are not exactly the same. So all I want to convey from here at this point of time is that pay attention to every single context and con content in the syllabus because a small confusion can lead to a wrong answer for sure. So in this context, of course, the sequence of the uh, planning is always for the bigger duration first, which is release, and then we have the iteration. So put together, the right answer here is A, the first is release planning. And once we are done with the release planning, we move to each and every sprint plan later after that. Let's move on to the next question here and the question number 14 is asking you in an agile project which of the following is usually checked into a configuration management system now that's a little tricky one because you do understand uh, there are several activities which are conducted and uh, we do understand the configuration management system uh, basically includes continuous integration also as a part of it so if you recall some of the fundamental concepts from the foundation level syllabus, configuration management is a tool which manages version control, manages the history of revisions, tracking for changes, and also talks about the unique identification of each item at the same time, the relationship between them. So put together, if you talk about any of these things, it's called as configuration management and CI basically is a part of it. So Continuous integration, we do understand, but even if you don't know about both of these, all you need to understand is that what do you check in in the process which is related to managing the versions and history of changes and sort of thing in the configuration management tool where we talk about the pipelines, DevOps, and sort of other things. So here, this again may be very, very straightforward to anyone if you know the word check in you know that what exactly do you check in, then you are not at all confused. But if in case you have not heard of this term before, you may get carried away by the word checked in than the configuration management. So let me not just confuse you any further. Configuration management is all about, all about continuous integration. And the things or options what we have here is epics, stories, iterations, and code. Now, if you correlate, we do have tools discussed in the last chapter but bringing up back to the continuous integration concept, epics, stories, and iterations are managed in a task management software like Jira, where 
all these can be managed very well. The work items, the process, the iteration are managed there. But one thing that is code is not managed in a task management tool because code looks forward to have a several revisions, also triggers a test to be executed, may have static analysis to be performed, and at the same time may have some initial build verifications test to be executed as and when it is checked because we do have a sustainable development to be measured at the end of each check-in. And that's where the right answer here is D, the code is the option which basically gets checked in in a configuration management tool, whereas the other three options gets uh, managed through a task management software. Well, let's look at the last question for the day. I'm just keeping it simple and to the point. Uh, every time we take up some questions, I can take more, but there's no point making a tutorial longer. So next is question number 15. Again, in an agile project, when is software first expected to be delivered that will provide value to the customer? Now that's again a very twisted statement. You may think of a number of possibilities of talking about that. Hey, is he talking about giving a deliverable? Is it talking about handing over the product? Is it talking about acceptance testing? Or is it just talking about a demonstration? So in this case, you really have to deep dive and understand that first, the very first look of the code is given to the customer at what point of time, right? Because this clearly says, when is software first expected to be delivered that will provide value to the customer and it does not mean that you're handing over the product or you are directly releasing to the end users delivered word is a little tricky word here which may let you think about that you're releasing to the market or handing over to the customer but it's about the first view of the cost, uh, product which you're making and it adds certainly a value even when you just demonstrate what you have done at any point of time. So here the four options are talking about the four different points. Number one, at the end of the project, at the end of the release, then you have at the end of an iteration, at the end of an epic. So sometime you can just start eliminating also like D, at the end of an epic. We don't certainly uh, talk about anything particular to epic because you may have multiple items from different epics being worked in a particular sprint. So it may not be precisely that only one epic is being dealt in a particular iteration. Again, at the end of the project could be too long because a project can consist of any number of releases. Uh, there's no definite number of releases what a project can have. And again, at the end of the release is almost like six to seven months of time, which could be too late to get the customer's early and frequent feedback. Now, when you talk about this word, early and frequent feedback, you're not talking about six months of time. You're talking about two weeks or to four weeks of time which is basically an iteration. And in that context, it totally makes sense that you give the first look of your development or piece of accomplishment, what you had at the end of the sprint by demonstrating that work to the customer and where customer approves it, saying that, yes, that's going good, let's continue further. And that's the first value added service provided to the customer. So in that context, putting up all together, the right answer here is C, at the end of an iteration, we deliver the first look of the product at the end of each iteration, which is a value add to the customer. Well, that was one of the tutorials talking about some of the questions from here, and I hope you got a good understanding of that. Should you, so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video tutorial team should you have anything else just drop them below so thank you for watching and happy learning